Okay guys, now we're going to have a look at establishing some control so we can be offensive. We looked at when we didn't have any grips and he was threatening to get past our guard and learn how to get back to this situation in a few ways. Now we're going to look at how to attack from here. So the first thing we're going to do is establish some control with our arms. I, right now I can't reach so I need to make sure that I plane my shoulders close to one side so I can reach on the ankle. All right. So once I reach on the ankle, I'm going to use my feet here and I'm going to lift my bum off the floor. So I'm pushing, pushing pressure through my feet here and lifting my butt right on top of that ankle here. Okay. Once I find a good grip on the ankle and my butt's really close and nice and strong here, I'm going to make sure the same side I control, that ankle, that foot plants on the hip and my toes are turned out to the outside of his hip here. Now I'm going to make space for my bottom leg, so if you're standing a little closer, I'll just kick his leg away and then I'll make a hook on the inside of the knee or low on the ankle. Right now his ankle's a little far away, so I just stay at the knee. Okay? Now all I'm going to do here, guys, the last pressure that I need to finish my sweep and then come back on top, is I'm going to push through his hip here, I'm going to kind of pull with my hook here on the back of his knee, I'm going to pull my hand back into my butt here. So pushing and pulling with all my grips, he falls over. Once he falls over, I'm going to make sure that I control his leg and then I'm going to technical stand up, making sure this leg that's in front of my body comes back underneath me. So now I can come on top and attack from there. Here it is again guys. This time we're going to focus on sufficient tension in the position, good pushing and pulling force to keep our opponent in the situation and give us time to complete the sweep.